I spend a lot of time putting quite a lot of detail so that there's a lot to look at in the works from a close range as well as the more graphic image which you might see from a little bit of distance. And I, I really value that kind of allowing the viewer to move in and out of the work at, at different ranges. And I think that also draws them into the process because as you come close to a work, you see the, the subtleties. And in recognizing those subtleties, I think you get a sense of the maker's hand. When you're handling materials, when you're physically manipulating something, um, there's nothing between me and what I'm doing. There's not a paintbrush, there's not a press. You're very intimately involved with what you're doing. I use symbols all the time. Everything I work with usually has many references. Some might be fairly obvious and others are much more cryptic. I was really interested in places where people still did things by hand and they had a kind of aesthetic that I was much more interested in. Even now, although I might be dealing with different subject matter in my work, I'm constantly looking back at the history of textiles for links that will connect my work to that history. I think hand processes will continue, and maybe even because we're moving into such a, a digital age where we're so removed from you know, everything we work with, we really have no idea how it's made or how it functions. Most people don't know how their computer functions, don't know how most of the things that they live with, how they actually work. Whereas a handmade object, there is a very direct human connection to that object, and it's, it's knowable, it's understandable.